Welcome back, everybody, to Kirby's Adventure. I'm the Almighty L, sucking at video games since 1995. Uh, we are currently at fucking World 2 uh, Ice Cream Ocean Island. I don't remember. Anyways, I wish I was at Butter Building because I totally prefer that world to this one. I'm gonna get you. Okay. So one thing I wanted to talk about really quick. I can't recall what the last boss of this game is. I played through uh, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland recently. Found my Game Boy Advance. Went through that because I just wanted to. I just wanted to compare it really quick. Because I mean, I sat down um, off camera and I got to I think. Oh, what was it? World five in this game or something? And then I went through and played the uh, Game Boy Advance one in the meantime. And the last boss of that game is Nightmare, obviously. But, there ain't no Nightmare in this game, is there? I don't remember. I haven't beaten this game in forever. So, shit! Someone's gonna have to help me out here. Uh, either tell me, or don't spoil it, and I guess we'll just figure out as we go. Kirby. So good. What I wish is that I could get a uh, fucking laser soon. I don't think I get lasers until Butter Building. Oh no! Ah! God, I love the Kirby music in all the games. Anything HAL Laboratory, they get they, they make such good music. Oh, recently, um. I had gotten Air Fortress for the NES. I'm so excited to play that game. Uh, I haven't made it past the third Air Fortress in it, um, but that's by HAL Laboratory 2, and until this year, I had never even heard of that game before. So, uh, we're gonna have to play some Air Fortress soon. Come on. All the eggs, all of them. Damn it, I got a bomb. I wanted all the eggs. DDD, you should have given them all to me. Should have handed me the eggs. Like, like if I went into a store and someone started chucking eggs at me and I opened my mouth and I'm like, ah, 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 catching all these eggs. Mmm, delicious. I'm going to make something out of these. Mm, I could boil them. I could, I could bake the eggs. I've never baked an egg before. Is that possible? Is, are there any chefs out there who can tell me if baking eggs is a thing? I don't know. Not sure. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, there's an enemy right over here. Who is it? Is it a wheel? It's a fucking wheel. Wheelie, you asshat. Who liked Kirby Air Ride? Kirby's Air Ride. Great game. It's probably one of my top uh, racing games ever. So good. And the mini games too, City Trial, those were so much fun. I spent countless hours on free mode just hanging out on the City Trial, riding different carts or uh, whatever they wanted to call them. And then, and then in City Trial, you could fucking get the Dragoon and the Hydra if you collected all of the parts, and that was super, super hard. But I remember working my ass off to get those. And you couldn't even use them in the main mode. You couldn't even race with them. Tired of your shit, Wheelie. I don't know why it reminded me of that. I just like the idea that you could ride wheelies in that game. They had the uh, the scooter wheelie, which was super cool. That was my favorite. Greatest jumping cart in that game, in my opinion. You could You could beat the high jump with that thing, no matter how bad you are at that game. And then... You got the uh, the wheelie motorcycle, it's red, and DDD rode that if you unlocked the character, or his, like, yeah, if you unlocked him in the game, um, he always was riding the, the wheelie motorcycle. And then there was, like, the fucking, I don't remember what it was called, it was like a monster wheelie. He had, like, a big old mouth in front, and he was huge, and all black, and he had, like, yellow highlights, um... 
And it made his hair look great, it just popped against his eyes and stuff. His skin tone totally complimented that highlight. Crane Fever. Why am I so bad at Crane Fever? I don't get it. I want the big one. Big old Kirby, give me some one-ups. Mm, mm, I'm waiting, give me it, give me it. Pick it up. In real life, I feel like I could brag, I'm pretty good at claw machines. Like, there has been a plenty of times where I was like, oh man, I really want that stuffed animal in that claw machine. I got it. I, I couldn't prove it to you, obviously, because, I mean, you were never there. But if you were there, you'd be like, damn, I'm impressed. You have some choice claw machine skills. And I'd be like, thanks. What do you want out of the claw machine? Name name your name your price. You're poisoned. What do you want? And you'd be like, oh man, I want that little bear, the uh, the green one, with the cool sunglasses. And I'd be like, sure. Let me uh, you pop a quarter in there, maybe a dollar. Sometimes those claw machines are a bit more expensive because they're like giving you toys. And I'd pop that quarter in there, though four quarters, obviously, because I mean, we just said it was a dollar. And uh. I'd win you that bear. Now this is all hypothetical too, like, I mean, I can't say any of I can't get this fucking bomb. I've tried a billion times. I have played this level a billion times and I cannot get it. I don't, I don't understand. I even looked up walkthroughs just to get this bomb block and it's impossible apparently. Everyone's like, oh yeah, use the sword, jump. Well, I am jumping and that's as high as Kirby can jump. Okay, I'll try floating. Nope, it does not give you enough time to swing your sword and break the bomb. There's no time. Stupid. Stupid. So dumb. Kirby, why you gotta be that way? I thought we were friends. Come on, hop up here. Yeah. <clears throat> Been getting over a cold recently. I was super sick for the longest time. My girlfriend had bronchitis, which is super lame and totally unfun to have. And, I mean, she was running temperatures and shit. And then, finally, like, she starts feeling better. And what's that? I don't feel good at all. I start coughing up a storm, hacking up snot. And at the same time, I'm just, like, not feeling good at all. I got, like, a list of symptoms of things. So, but I'm finally starting to feel better. Finally recovering from my death voice. Sounded like Batman. If he gargled a handful of nails. Shit! But, uh, yeah. That, and the fact that I haven't had internet in, like, a ton of time. Which totally sucks. That's why I haven't been uploading very often. Why does that happen? Hmm? What the heck? Heck you! You stupid dinghy. Whatever that's... Whatever a dinghy is. Okay, don't... Don't even, like, try to think about my, uh... My names that I throw out. You know what I mean? Like, these are, uh... These are some top-tier name-calling. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. So that's the first time you have to do that. There's, I think there's like three or four instances where you have to fight Meta Knight's buddies. And, uh, ah. And they never, they never get more fun. I do actually really enjoy those fights though. But it's always, like, the same setup, like, oh man, like, fucking, uh, Axe Guy's on the left side, and fucking Ball, Spike Ball, what is that, a Flail? Flail Guy's flailing about. And you gotta beat him, too, you, like, you'll, you'll get to skip that, you know what I mean? I think there might be... There's the laser. So the laser... It's my favorite power-up. I like the UFO more. You'll see that later on if you haven't seen the UFO before. It's a really cool power-up. Unfortunately, 
to my knowledge and experience, you can't take the UFO outside of the level you get it. The laser, however, you could take that anywhere you want. And I'm sure I'm pretty sure the uh, the boss of this world, it's like a painter guy, um, super similar to the painter in Kirby's. Um, come on, Kirby and the Crystal Shards for the N64. I can't recall that character's name. Um, adorable though, but no, it works a lot like that. The uh, this guy is on roller skates. He's super dumb and ugly, and I hate him. And he's like, oh yeah, like, I'm gonna paint a picture, and the picture's gonna come alive, and fucking well, attack you. And you gotta, like, fight the pictures, you know? Well, you don't fight them. You, like, let's, let's say he decides he's gonna throw out, like, like, he draws a wheelie, and that wheelie comes at you, you know what I mean? And that wheelie's trying to get you, and... Like, you gotta pick the wheelie up with your, your mouth, and you gotta spit it back out at the boss. And he's hopping around, he's going up and down, like, side to side. Like, where's he gonna go next? Oh, I don't know, maybe to the right, and he goes to the left. And then all of a sudden, you're, like, sitting in the middle, and you're, like, trying to avoid him. And what does he do? He, like, jumps straight into the middle where you're standing and hurts you. And, like, man, like, the, the AI, this, uh... Boss, too smart for me. I'm not that clever. So was it Sakurai who created Kirby? I want to say, I want to say it was Sakurai. Can't remember. It makes me feel bad because I have the utmost respect to all of the Nintendo developers, even the developers like Game Freak and HAL, all that stuff. They are just. Gods amongst men. Miyamoto. So cool. And we all know those kids in like, in elementary school. You're like really little, and you meet that one kid, and he's like, My uncle works for Nintendo. He didn't. My dad created Zelda. He didn't. Mmm. Those electrolytes. Mmm. Mmm. I actually heard sports drinks are really bad for you. Um, but I don't believe that, because they told me they're good for me. They told me, if I drink a Powerade, all of the power is at my aid. And I fucking believed it. I still do, to this day. Oh, shit. No, 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 come back, my laser! Where's my laser at? I got my laser back. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I needed. No! Can someone send me a link of a video of just the, the fastest Kirby's adventure playthrough ever? That's what I would like to see. Because, like, my dream... And it's a dream I'll never achieve, but like, what I would give to just be able to speedrun a game and like, not look like an idiot. Shit. I need the wheelie up here. Thank you, sir. Go over this way. No, 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 no! Well, that sucked. It's like that pixel just touches you enough that hurts. No, go down the hole. Down the hole! No, go down! You gotta have the wheel power up to go through the Gordo. Is it Gordo? Gordo might be the pink flying one. Let's just call those guys spiky douches so the wheel basically gives you invincibility for a short period of time while you're in wheel form and if that isn't weird i don't know what is but uh yeah damn it well 
one thing that's nice is you can always go back in these games. I mean, it can get annoying when you're, like, running back and forth and the same enemy keeps spawning over and over. And you're like, dude, just stop. Just get yourself out of here and don't. I want my laser. Boop. All right. This video is going to run a tiny bit longer than I expected. I was hoping to make it like 15 minutes, but I just want to beat the, uh, shit. I just want to beat the ocean. I want to beat the entire ocean. It's a cruel mistress, but I want to beat it to death. I guess I got to give up my laser. No, I just want to fight that boss in this video. Shit. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. No! That was the dumbest thing in the world. If you did not see that, you need to rewind it and watch that again. And I hope you understand that it was not worth it. What are you doing? Get out of here. Ugly stinkwad. At least I'm getting lots of ones, right? Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, I'm getting a lot of one-ups. I'm, I'm pretty happy with 15 lives right now. Gives me a lot of wiggle room to fuck up. Cause I will. You're gonna see. There's gonna be a point in my life where you're like, wow. Not even lasers could help him. Okay. I'm gonna get my laser. There's actually a good chance I won't even use the laser, and I'll probably just have to fight this guy with his own attacks. No! Wow! Wow! That is the worst thing in the universe. Shit. This is why I'm glad I have 15 lives. Where are you going? You going up here? Okay. I'll go with you. We'll make a date out of it. Spit. I knew he'd go that way. I'm telling you, this guy, uh, roller skate painter Julian, his is a uh, that's his official name, right? He is way too smart for me. I am not as clever as roller skate Junior. Ju I don't know what I named him. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay. All right. A shake, a shake. A shake, shake. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Butter building. I really like this world. Um, the level designers of this game are so cool, and they're really smart about making their um, their hub worlds or whatever. They really like line up with the actual levels. When we get into these worlds or these levels, um, I love the effect of the building because it like spins. They really give you like an idea of it feeling like three dimensional. But we'll see that in a little bit. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I'm the Almighty L. I love playing games. I suck at them all. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, do it twice. Wait, three times, because I think if you do it twice, it cancels out the subscription.